Hello, Grace Church. My name is Rob Koblenz, and I'm the worship pastor here at Grace Church. I want to thank you for being here with us this morning. Before we get started with baptisms, I'd like to explain what baptism is and why do Christians get baptized? Well, first, Christians get baptized to make the invisible visible. So whenever a person believes in Jesus Christ as their Savior, the Holy Spirit washes and cleanses that person's spirit. In Titus 3.5 we read, God saved us not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth and new life through the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit washes a new believer's spirit and imparts eternal life through a new birth. A new Christian spirit is alive with the very life of God and completely cleansed, ready to enjoy a whole new Holy Spirit empowered life. When a believer is baptized, people can see a visible picture of cleansing that the Holy Spirit already did in that believer's invisible inner person. Second, Christians get baptized because Jesus commanded us to do so. Baptism is an act of obedience. It's a recognition that Jesus Christ is not only a Christian Savior, but also Jesus is a Christian's Lord who is worthy to obey. So Jesus commanded Christians in the Great Commission of Matthew 28, 19-20, Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So submitting to baptism as people watch on is a way a Christian displays to the world he or she is willing to identify with Jesus Christ and begin following him as Lord. Third, Christians get baptized because baptism is also a public inauguration of a Christian into a powerful new life as an authoritative representative for Jesus Christ to this world. In the Great Commission, Jesus commanded that baptisms be done in the name of, or in the authority of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Baptism is a recognition that the triune God's authority is now invested in that Christian to live a powerful life representing God to this world. This is why Jesus promised in the Great Commission, I am always with you. Baptism is a recognition that the triune God's power goes with the baptized Christian as he or she now boldly lives for Jesus Christ in our world.